daddy trying to put that on your daddy no that that is on you that's not the crowd that he needs to be performing in front of so ain't nobody about to live a miserable life to appease other people don't take away him finding humor and his trauma because that's how he deals with things you cannot expect the same thing from different people there are different ways you can deal with trauma besides therapy okay welcome today we're going to be talking about the rock carmichael show review one through four so now i'm going to review five through seven so five was with him his friend jamar wanting his friend to basically do his style of comedy which is like therapy style comedy where you sit very intimate where you sit down and talk to the crowd and they can say stuff back and you just tell them about what you feel and what's going on and with a little hits up on you here and there it's okay if he want his friend to make his comedy more personalized. I think you should make your comedy more personalized, but it doesn't have to be in the form of therapy where you're sitting down. Because his friend seems like a very theatrical comedian. Like, Gerard is not a theatrical comedian. Like, he's not a very um, energetic comedian where he's going back on stage and doing this and doing that. Like, some people, like Marlon Wayans, Cat Williams, like, they're very energetic. Like, they act they stuff out. Tony Roberts, like that, act they stuff out. He's not that type of comedian. Dry isn't, but his friend clearly is very high energy. So him sitting down ain't gonna work for him. And him, I don't think him having a crowd talk back to him is for him. Um, that whole episode was fun. That probably was the best episode to me so far, maybe because it was centered around comedy, and you know, I like comedy, and the folks of the channel is comedy. But that was probably the best episode to me personally for what I like. The friend episode was also good too, but the this this one was good because it was like about stop comedy and you know his friend, all the stuff he been through. He like Gerard is basically everything that I think he said. Gerard do therapy comedy. He I'm like I me and his friend was on the same level. He's like he some he said something about the hood and two that's not his crowd. Gerard crowd is not his crowd. Like that's not the crowd that he needs to be performing in front of. Yes, if you're comedian, you can perform. It performing any type of comedy but his fans would not be the same as derived fans they're just not the same type of people or comedy they just i think should and do have very different audiences oh when he when jamar said jamar i'm the dyslexic the jays might catch me up jamar said the hood is funny or some people in the hood some stuff is funny and i was like that like mirror like that's trauma Okay, and you can make trauma funny. Doesn't mean the root of it is funny, but you can make it funny. Like, I feel like they wanted him, the crowd wanted him to give what Gerard gives, and they're just not the same. You cannot expect the same thing from different people. Like, it was just his friend, don't mean they're the same. Of course, they have similarities because they're friends, but they're, you know, I mean, they're the same and give the same. I, I think it's okay to do hints of, you know, like I said, personalized comedy. I think that is where you do the best, but it doesn't have to be in that way. It doesn't have to be in the form of therapy. Kevin Hart is a good example. Like his first stand, was like one through three, his first three. He talked about his family and kids and stuff, but he didn't do it in a therapy way. He did it in a very funny way. He still got to know who he was and about his family, but he did it in a very comedic, funny um energetic theatrical way like you don't have to do like dave chappelle or gerard type of comedy like i don't think you should force your style of comedy on two people like you can take a look he can take a little part of gerard's thing like i said the personal aspect of it but he don't have to do it in the way he did it like how he was sitting on the floor then that's not good for vi visually like it was funny watching on tv but visually if you're in a crowd and somebody is sitting down you probably can't even really see them i'm talking about sitting on the floor gerard sits in a chair and he already tall but Sitting on the floor is like that visually for a crowd that's not good. You should take parts because stuff he, I actually was laughing at him. Like stuff he was saying, I actually was laughing. So it's just like you can put that into comedy in a, in a fun way. Like every, I don't, people, stuff he was saying funny, don't take away him finding humor and his trauma because that's how he deals with things. People say it's a coping mechanism, that is how he deals with things. So you shouldn't take. That part of him that had helped him survive and helped him become who he is, which was, you know, find and come in it. You shouldn't try to make it force him into like a therapy thing. Like everything is not for everybody and one shoe does not fit all. Like there are different ways you can deal with trauma besides therapy. Like everybody be like therapy, therapy, therapy. No. It didn't clearly it ain't working for your ride too, because he just feels like all type of trauma when we get to these next episodes that ain't been fixed. So I think that's good. Like his friend, I like. I think he was funny. I think he combined what Gerard do and what he do and blend them together. He don't have to take Gerard's blueprint and Gerard shouldn't, you know, 
force him to take his blueprint. I think Gerard just likes to, when he, clearly when he likes to see stand up, he likes to see being people be he's like his friends. So he likes to see, know everything about you as a person when you're doing stand up. And that's what he gives, but that doesn't mean that's what everybody else gives, and that's not what everybody else wants to see. Um, so I guess in this video, like, I, if I would have reviewed it right when I watched it, I probably would have more to say, but this is just based off my memory of watching. Like I said, I'm three episodes past that now, so well, I'm just finished seven, and that was like five, so if I would have reviewed it, I probably would have more to say, but okay, let's get to episode six, which was. Him taking his boyfriend to see his mother. I was his boyfriend. I wouldn't have met. I wouldn't have meant to meet his parents. Like if they don't treat me when I meet me, I'm not meeting them for what. Like so I can feel uncomfortable and feel like I'm not wanted. Like I wouldn't have went. But you know, his boyfriend seems like he's like want to please him. Like yeah, people please him. You know, super nice. Almost like a pushover. Almost. So it's like you know he wanted to make him happy, but I wouldn't have went. But. <laughs> I went with it, but um, his dad was, I feel, again, like I said, his dad seemed more upset than his mom. The mom was sitting in the living room all, like, mad, and I was like, she was over, and then dad was the one in the room with them while I was, you know, looking at all the memories and stuff. They still stay in his childhood home. I thought he would have moved them somewhere else. I didn't, I didn't think they still stayed in his childhood home, because, too, remember he said, the house I paid for? You know, back in the day, they was paying off houses. Like, I don't know how these older people back in the day, they all, they be, had owned their houses back in the day. I don't know how that happened. But, you know, all back in the day, sure, some of them probably built the houses. Um, back in the day, like, all these older people, when you encounter older people, like people over 60, and they have a home, used to they be home in their home because they, you know, had it for so long and back then, you know, it wasn't that much. Although they also wasn't making that much, but I don't know how that worked. So you would think his parents would have already owned that home since they had it for so long prior to him, you know, getting, you know, money and getting things and stuff. So that was interesting, but like I said, the mom was like more standoffish. The daddy was there. Like, the daddy don't really talk much, but I feel like older men, especially older black men, they don't, when the older they get, they don't really talk much. Like, they just be chilling. They do like, look, I don't live life. I don't work. I'm exhausted, child. I just want to chill and be in peace in my little rocking chair. But I rock chair with me and me in a little, I don't know the chair they be sitting watching TV. I don't know if it's called a rocking chair. It do rock, but it's called something. You know, very, you know. She using all that. I want to see like an episode of him meeting his other siblings. Or I want an episode with that. I feel like we kind of repeat an episode now with him and his boyfriend and that's cheating, which I'm going to get to, which is seven. I feel like we kind of just like kind of repeating the episodes. It's like saying in information. Like you know, it's not really new things. His mom struggling with him being gay and then boyfriend and cheating. It's like recycle information. But I guess it's like they, they trying to make it some continuous church people. It's like they overlook everything else in the Bible. But being gay is like you can't accept your child. I don't know why people think if you if if somebody wasn't born that way, they wasn't born gay. I don't know. Like I said, people are like, why would I? I'm choose to be gay. Like I can have a harder life. Like you are straight. You don't think the opposite exists. It's just common sense that the opposite would exist. If you were born straight, just like some some men, some white men be like, Yeah, I don't know, I just like Gary Owen, I'm sharing sharp. He was like, I don't know, I just always like black women. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's like sometimes you do just like what you like. He ain't he didn't grow up around black women. So it I hate when people like, it's what you see, it's what you talk, what you talk. No, some things are in you. Like you like what you like. I don't. I don't know why people act like this is just such a foreign concept. If you were born straight, you don't think somebody was born gay. I don't. That not make no sense to. Me. Then they try to always put it on trauma or something that happened. Oh no, well, this this turned this person gay. I'm like, yeah, yeah, let it have to stop. Yeah, church people be focused on everything in the Bible. I mean, don't be focused on everything in the Bible. They pass to be cheating. They're like, oh, he's just a man. He's just a man. This and that. But they try to come out gay. It's the end of the world. Like, and I hate when parents, your journey, if that's what you believe, that's perfectly fine. That's your journey. But everybody don't have to believe what you believe. Everybody don't have to be the same religion as you. Everybody don't have to follow the same path as you. So you saying if your child don't follow the same path as you, you not going to love them or you're going to disown them or you just going to be difficult about it. That's crazy to me. Your kids are not you. 
we're all different souls. Yes, your God used you to bring the soul into the world, but that don't mean your soul is connected. It don't even mean y'all gonna know each other next lifetime if you believe in that or whatever. So, parents need to stop trying to put what they want on their children. That's his journey. Our soul is not gonna be connect connected when you die, so why are you worried about it? It's my child, it's my child. And they have their own life. It's like you had your own life and you went to the church and chose religion and all that stuff. He has his choice to do what he wants to do. Or live his life how he wants to live. Like he could, obviously, if he liked me, he liked me. And now he can choose to date women, but who would want to do that? That's like somebody being, you, you being straight and somebody forcing you to go with the opposite sex. Like you would be like miserable. Like so, ain't nobody about to live a miserable life to appease other people. I might get back to the church in a minute, but I want to make sure I get to the, the seventh episode with the boyfriend and then, you know, open up that relationship. So, him and his boyfriend, basically, Jarai kept cheating, cheating, cheating. So, they was like, okay, we're going to open it up. Which, with that cheating, so I'm like, you might as well just let the person cheat and you not do nothing. You're going to keep taking them back. It's like, because you're basically teaching them that they can cheat on you and you're just going to take them back. They have to say, I'm sorry, or buy you a gift or whatever. So, you, at that point, you're okay with cheating. So, you might as well just be with the person and let them cheat. That don't make no sense to me. Like, like you know, sometimes women, women be like, well... Oh man, cheat! If you gonna let, if you okay with your man cheating on you, or you gonna take him back, just say that. Stop putting it on all men, right? I feel like people cheat for certain reasons. Either they don't love themselves, which why you wanna be with somebody that don't love themselves? They need to work on themselves. Two, they think you are gonna take them back, which people do. So if you do it, and they know, know they can do it again. Maybe they truly do have a problem. If they do, they don't need to be in a relationship. They need to go get help. Yeah, either they don't love themselves, they don't love you truly, which why we wanna be with it. Either one of those, like, I uh, could be trying to fix people and say, say, he would be like, well, I can change him, I can fix him, child, that is not your job. But with him and his um, boyfriend, you can tell, I don't know, to me, it don't, from doing it, it don't look like his boyfriend wants to be with other people, he's just doing it. Because probably he don't want to be like, okay, well, you want to be with other people, you just be with other people, and I want to do nothing. He want to try to give him a taste of his own medicine and maybe, and hopes he'll stop when he feel. Child, too, his, his boyfriend could be lying and being like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I talked to this person, talk to this person just so he don't feel like it's a one sided thing. Like, you can tell he really don't want to do that. Obviously, he don't really want to do it, or he would have been, did it, or been said, hey, I want to be in an open relationship. That's clearly not what he wanted. It's clearly not his first choice. So, he choosing to do something against his character that he only want to do for Gerard, which is crazy. Then, Gerard, I, all he had to do was tell him, hey, I'm going out to, I want to be with somebody right now. And he couldn't even do that. He couldn't even communicate. All he's saying, I want you to communicate with me that, and he can't even do that. Some people just want to cheat because they want to feel like they're doing something behind your back or they want some turmoil. They want you to have to beg you back or something like that. Like, it's actually crazy. A lot of times, a woman be like, yeah, you can do this, do this. And then they uh, just let me know or tell me that they still do it behind your back. It's like... You just want to sneak around because you think you're getting something out of that. It's feeding your ego in some type of way. Like the next episode, I think episode 8, well, it's going to be with him talking to his mom again. I wonder if his mom is trying to be accepting because of who he is. Like if he wasn't who he is, would she really be trying to be accepting or would she just, you know, throw him to the side? Try to... Then I hate too with this cheating thing. He like, oh, my daddy cheated, so I cheated. No, because there are people that fathers cheat that don't cheat. They're like, no, I don't want to cheat. It's just like abuse. When they see their father abuse, they're like, oh, no, I don't want to abuse. And it's some of their abuse. There are two. You can make a left and a right. You choose which one you want to make. So I hate when people be putting it on their parent. That is not your parent. That is you. You're making a choice to do that. Uh, my parent, my parent. And you're in your 30s. I think he's in his 30s, yeah. You're in your 30s. Maybe you're in your 40s, but you're in your 30s, like... It's time to make a choice. Like, you trying to put that on your daddy. No, that, that is on you. And I'm not trying to ride mo a lot of men. Debbie Chee be saying that. No, oh, it's just what I see. I see my daddy do it, so I'm, I'm doing it. So. Even on that um play, um, I didn't really watch it, but I know i seen, like, the little clips and stuff. Um, of, what's that show called? I don't even see. I don't even know the show called. It's something on Netflix. His daddy be cheating, taking him with him places. He was cheating, and then now he's saying, you know, it's hard because what he's seeing is just a, the biggest cop out to me that people be saying. Like, you you cheated because you want to cheat. You cheated because it's in you, and not 
it ain't biology. <laughs> it's in you because that's what you want to do. Like, if there are two different paths you can take and you're choosing the cheating one, then that's what you want it to do. Because you could have been like, oh, my, see, my daddy cheated. I'm definitely not going to cheat because I see how my mother was hurt. And I don't want to hurt women. Or men, in this case. I don't want to hurt men. And you still did it. No, stop. I, I really dislike when people can suck on their parents. Like, you're an adult. You made a choice. You Once you realize, possibly, okay, this could have affected me in some type of way, and you don't choose to change or anything, then it's you. Stop putting it on other people. I, I don't like when people do that. That is you. That ain't your parent. That is you. A choice. If some people see the same thing and choose something different, that is that means that's what you wanted. That's what you chose to do. That's in you already. It ain't nothing to do with your daddy. If your daddy didn't cheat, you still would have been a cheater. I didn't think I was going to do any more of the episodes, but I'm like, okay, well, three done passed, so might as well do it. Like I said, I don't know how many episodes are going to be, but like three done passed, so might as well do one since, you know, People would see you now into it or not into it or whatever. Okay, bye.